Amin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabi nabiyyina Muhammad salawatu rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi amma ba'd ayul ahbab may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and you bless us and you and raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous and you as well amin ya rabbil alamin and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm nafia wa rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutaqabbilan amin ya rabbil alamin ayul ahbab as we said on countless occasions that ikhlas lillah is imperative that we are we're sincere in our actions and our acts of worship and our deeds our actions that we do can illustrate whether we're sincere or not often for example the person who claims sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or that the people praise and consider to be sincere but in fact that person does major sins when they're alone or when they're in their travels outside of the area where the people can see them or or whenever they have a chance then this illustrates a lack of ikhlas lillah a lack of sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah protect us from that and forgive us and bless us all and protect us from hypocrisy amin ya rabbil alamin ibn abi dunya rahimahullah ta'ala he said in a beautiful narration on our salaf the salaf of this ummah قال حدثني سفيان بن وقيع ابن وقيع وقيع قال حدثنا ابن عيينة عن عطاء عن عطاء بن سائب قال بلغني أن علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله تعالى عنه قال العمل الصالح الذي لا تريد and yahmadaka alayhi ahadun illa lillah ibn abi dunya rahimahullah ta'ala reported in his book entitled ikhlas wa niya he said after mentioning the narrators he said that sufyan said to him that who reported that ibn uyayna reported on Ata ibn Sa'ib, who said that it was reported to me that Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that righteous deeds are those which you do not wish for anyone to praise you for except Allah. Ayul Ahbab. Ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing things strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, requires mujahid and nafs. It requires for us to strive, fighting our desires, and constantly reaffirming our intention. Because this can be the cause for our deed being righteous and accepted by Allah, or our deed being rejected and considering considered sinful by Allah Azza wa Jal. For example, the man who goes to pray in the masjid, he rushes to be in the front row, but however he does that in order that the people will see him and praise him. And as we've mentioned in the hadith, the long hadith, where the Prophet Sallallahu explained about the first three who will be punished on the Day of Judgment, that a person like this, that deed that they committed shirk in, because this is a, a type of shirk, and depending on if it was uh, a minor, the minor form of shirk or major shirk, meaning they did the deed strictly to please the people, that could be could f make them fall into the major shirk, which takes them out of the fold of Islam. Or... Uh, if they die upon that. And 
if it is the minor shirk, of course, then it destroys the goodness of that deed, the worth, uh, the worthiness or the worth of that deed, that action that you did, then it is negated. It is no longer a good deed and will not be accepted by Allah because Allah doesn't accept shirk. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik lamin yasha. Verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. So ayu al-ahbab, the niyyah or the intention doing something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will determine your worthiness in that in the deed that you uh, performed meaning that if your intention was for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you did the action in accordance with the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then you will be rewarded with khair possibly in this life but definitely in the hereafter that it will be on your account of good deeds but if you did it to please the people or you did it just to show off then that deed will not benefit you. It will only cause you harm. And the person who was mukhlis, and as Ali ibn Abi Talib anhu said, this is the person who does a righteous deed not to be praised by the people, but only to be praised by Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins and our shortcomings. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.